Hi, friends. Thank you so much for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. I have a very important announcement. Um, I recognize that many of you have not been able to attend a parish forum. Um, there's still probably at least six to 800 of you that have not been able to do that. And we want to make sure that before we go to our all parish vote, um, that we bring a forum to you. Uh, and so we'd like to do that this Sunday after the 930 Mass which would require that we invite you and ask you to please consider staying for at least 20 minutes after the 930 Mass so that I can present um, our information around um, moving and shifting from a leasing model to an ownership model. I want to make sure that um, as many of you as possible uh, it has can make an informed uh, decision uh, as we prepare for an all-parish vote. And so that'll be this coming Sunday after the 930, if you just plan to stay maybe an extra 20 minutes uh, so that we can present and take a few um, questions uh, from folks in the room, okay? In this week's bulletin, Reverend Seely wrote, this month we celebrate our Spiritus Christi Mental Health Center. I'm sure none of us has to look far to see how the need for mental health care has impacted our lives. We could say that depression and anxiety are, are endemic to this moment. They have affected each of us or our circle of loved ones in some way. Affordable care along with the bombs like listening, presence, yoga, mindfulness, meditation, and community as manifested, for example, in the small groups in, that the center runs, provides healing that is a life-saving measure in our society now more than ever. In addition, the center's community outreach work led by Eileen Hurley ministers to people affected by gun violence, another growing epidemic, and works to address poverty, racism, and the social injustices that contributes to many mental health struggles. How blessed we are to have this outreach at a moment in time such as this. Please plan to join us for the annual river walk on Sunday, October 22nd. On October 17th, from 5.30 to 7.30, in the Taylor Chapel, we will be hosting a meeting on reparations based on a reparations bill sponsored by Assemblyman Member Michelle Solanges, sponsored by Assembly Member Michelle Solanges and State Senator Kevin Parker. So come and learn how we can encourage Governor Kathy Hochul to sign this bill that would establish a commission to study the historical and lasting impact that slavery has had on black New Yorkers and potential reparations for the legacy of slavery. It has been a joy these last couple of weeks to walk down the halls on weekdays at our church and find them crowded with a beautiful mix of human beings faithful longtime volunteers coming and going, people coming to register for the latest round of the Guaranteed Basic Income Pilot Program, and asylum seekers, our neighbors from the Holiday Inn, coming to browse the clothing and the food cupboards that we've thrown together, filling the air with the sounds of lyrical Spanish and courtling toddlers. Jesus tells us we do not have to look far. The kingdom of God, that great hodgepodge of diverse people living together in harmony is among us, even as we speak. So thanks for helping it come about. And this week we send our condolences to Suzanne Landy on the death of her grandmother, Louise Ransom. Suzanne, we send our hearts and our love and prayers to you during this very difficult time of grief. And friends, may the bright leaves around us remind you of the fire of the Spirit and inspire you to do brave things this week. And I hope you'll join me next week for our weekly pastor's update. Take care.